I'm Ashwin and I'm from Nepal. My name is Tara and I'm from Canada. I'm Reena and I'm from Finland. I am Dee Owerdi and I'm from South Africa and England. I came to Boone because Appalachian um, took my international credits. I didn't specifically want to come to Boone. Boone wasn't actually my first choice. Yes, I feel like I've adapted and I think that's thanks to the people that are very caring and very friendly and helpful. I love it. It kind of reminds me of like, because of the mountains, it kind of reminds me of Nepal. But I like it. I came down for my interview in the middle of a snowstorm. So it was a lot like home, actually. <laughs> um, so that was my first impression, and I guess it was a good first impression. I think the frozen food sections, I think there's a lot more ready meals here, but not as many. Um, Frozen vegetables, maybe. Here in supermarkets, they have more, even more like uh, ready, like meals that are already made, so that you only have to heat it up in microwave or so. We have those in Finland too, but here, here the selection is bigger, and especially in like frozen foods. At home, the frozen section might be maybe half of an aisle and here there's like you know four frozen aisles so at home we have tv dinners like maybe two or three different kinds and here there's four dozen kinds of tv dinners or like frozen dinners the thing i miss the most about my country is definitely the food like i miss all the spicy food and the food here no offense but the food here is really bland and they just don't have that many, like, it does not have that much taste in it. Fruits that are meant to taste sweet actually taste sweet here in the United States. I feel like in England, we don't always get that. I don't know if it's because England doesn't have the climate to grow it, but I definitely feel like the fresh fruit and vegetables is a much better quality here. The size of the supermarkets are mad. Where in your life have you seen a whole aisle full cereal about? It's like we can buy 500 different kinds of cereal the different kinds of food, it's pretty similar, um, but there's more variety in certain areas. People, they're really excited when they meet you, even though I don't know if they're really, are, but that's the way you have to be in here. That's the American way to greet people. Sometimes when I talk to people, they might just take their, if their phone is ringing, they might just take their phone and answer it. And I'm like, okay, I was talking to you, but apparently that wasn't so important than your phone call. Geography is a little weak in Americans. That's what I have figured out because a lot of people I've met, they ask me where I'm from. And when I say Nepal, like I get a lot of question saying where Nepal is. And it's funny because like people have heard about Mount Everest but they've not heard about Nepal and Mount Everest is in Nepal so that's I think so that's funny. Well sometimes I feel that Boone is a really small place. Like when I need something like rain boots it's and I don't have a car here so it's hard to get what I want. I always need to plan when I want to go do some shopping or something else. The only thing that gets me more frustrated about Boone is the transportation. Like, uh, I don't have a car and just going around, getting on is really hard for me. I'm frankly appalled at, <laughs> at my department here. For example, for my assistantship, my first task was to clean my professor's house and that is something that would not happen at home. I just, that can't possibly be a cultural difference. Maybe it's just, I can't, I don't know. I'm just really not a happy camper. <laughs> Mm. 
can have. I think in general, my experience is really good. All were so helpful and friendly. Like they came to the airport and like hug us when they saw us, and it was. I felt that they really want us here. I mean, I've made amazing friends, friends who I'm never gonna ever forget. And it's just everything. I've learned a lot. Like, I've learned a lot about being independent and having to come here all by myself and, you know, get myself established. It's, it's a handful of experiences.